Welcome back. As we watch what unfolded yesterday with phones in hands, parents texting with their kids inside Mansfield Timberview High School. I was struck, and I know so many of you were as well, by the simple short text messages during the chaos from one particular boy and his mother. Jason Allen found them, spoke with them today about their conversation in that moment yesterday. He's live in Mansfield with us. Jason. Doug, you and I talked about, about this just a little bit yesterday. These are very fast, uh, in some cases, one word text from a boy in a classroom to his mom at work. And it was very personal, this discussion between them, but also very relatable to just about anyone, anywhere. After the gunshots, but before police could run into the school from the floor of their classrooms at Timberview High School, students had one immediate thought. Just call your parents and ask for help. Some people, I don't know if anybody called the police, because I'm not sure about that, but I had some people next to me calling their parents. Yeah. Mom, there's a shooting. 14-year-old Turville Morende texted his mother in that moment. Mom, help. We have a history of losing people to gun violence. And for me, when he called and he said there's a shootout, because if you look at the text, I was like, where? Please, he replied, school, mom, for real. I was so uh, helpless. That was what I felt at the beginning. I was like, what do I do? Like, She went to the school, which is where we first met her and shared their messages to tell the story of what was happening. And then across social media, millions of people read them and connected to that relationship between a parent and a child. That's a good feeling knowing that he thinks that he thinks about me as a protector. And that's why I'm like, you know, when I can't provide answers to this, it's hard. Because he believes in me. He believes the only person I can call is mom for help. You know. You're lucky to have that. Though. Yeah. I'm lucky yeah. to have a mom that is there for me like that. Yeah. Oh. Stella Oigo told me that she looked in on her son as he was sleeping this morning. Very, very grateful, obviously, to have him there in the house and alive. But, Doug, she told me that now she's doing a lot of reflecting on this and how to assure him and other students that they are going to be safe when they come back to school here in the days to come and the months and the year ahead. Yeah, and, and I think it's fair to say to yourself as a parent, you know, I, I want to say you're going to be fine, but, you know, how do you guarantee that? That's hard. Uh, and then the other takeaway was... Just the heartfelt moment for the mom, and I think all other parents out there, you know, you look at that and you want to be the one number one protector in your kid's life at all times. And, you know, those are moments that you, you simply can't be. And she used the word helpless. I think we all kind of, you look at that and you feel the same way, right? Yeah, you do. But you want to you want to rush there and you want to be there. Um, and everybody too identifies with that feeling that 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 he was feeling, that Turbo was feeling, in that moment you don't know what to do and who's yeah. the person you reach out to, mom or dad. Yep, mom or dad, always there for you. They'll take your call in the middle of the night. Jason Allen, thank you so much.